Functions are math and functions are fun, but functions aren't for everyone. You probably don't even care, but just remember math is everywhere. So learn them well, for you'll always use math. Learn them well or face Mr. No's wrath. Linear functions y equals mx plus b, tis the easiest function you'll ever see. The slope is m, the y-intercept b, across an axis it has symmetry. You can rearrange it in ways that aren't the norm, like for instance, point-slope form. When you graph an absolute value, it looks like a v, guided by h and k, there's an axis of symmetry. H moves it left and right, K moves it up and down. When there's a negative in front, flip the whole graph around. A quadratic function, Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C, factor that equation, use the zero product property. To graph a parabola, you need two zeros and a vertex. It'll face either up or down and be convex. Like all the rest, it can be shifted. The domain is infinite, but the range is limited. The cubic function has one cube term. When you graph the cubic function, it kind of looks like a worm. Most of the time, two turning points can be found. The end behavior can either go up or go down. The function of a square root, a rad x minus h plus k, h and k moves it all around while stretch of compressed depends on a. The graph of this function looks like half a rotated quadratic. Although this seems tricky, it's actually quite systematic. The domain is all real numbers greater than or equal to h. If you graph this function, it'll go off the page. A cubic function just fell on its side, and a cube root function has now been derived. It is similar to that of a square root, but n equals 3. Both the domain and range go on infinitely. Exponential functions take the form a equals ab to the x power. x must be a real number or else it'll be dour. You can graph it as either growth or decay. Draw a table for it, can go either way. When the absolute value of b is greater than 1, growth occurs. But when the absolute value of b is less than 1, decay is interred. The range of this graph can never be 0. If you get 0, you're doing it wrong. Oh my god! Logarithmic functions are the opposite of exponentials, knowing y equals log x is extremely essential. If you want to know how to shift it, look at the k as a clue. The vertical asymptote is equal to the h value. You can transform the exponential function x equals by into a logarithmic equation. It's as easy as pi. x is the log and b is the base. Be sure to put every value in its proper place. Rational functions are polynomials p over q. Be careful because some of the graphs discontinue. Make the top zero to find the x-intercepts. Don't worry, it's not such a difficult concept. The bottom is similar with zeros of q. Finding vertical asymptotes aren't hard to do. To find horizontal asymptotes, there are three different ways. If m is greater than n, there'll be no asymptotes sideways. If m equals n, then y will be equal to a over b, and a horizontal asymptote is what you will see. The asymptote is 0 when m is less than n, and dividing x is top by bottom will get you the behavior's end. The multiplicity comes from the term which the asymptote is derived. The odds go separate ways, whereas the evens go the same way and strive. The formula for sine y equals a sine b times theta. To graph the sine function, you'll need 5 points of data. The period of this function is to pi over b. The amplitude is absolute value of a, so the graph cannot run free. The midline of the amplitude is where it starts, and to find the other points, divide the period into 4 parts. If it is negative, the line will go down, but if it is positive, you'll start with a frown. Like any other graph, you can shift this line, shift it by pi over 2, and it'll turn into cosine. The formula for cosine is y equals a cos b times theta. To graph the cosine function, you need 5 points of data. The period of this function is 2 pi over b. The amplitude is absolute value of a, so the graph cannot be free. Though it sounds the same as sine, there are parts that are significant. The graph begins at the amplitude's top, that is where it is different. The period of a positive graph is max 0, min 0, max. To plot a negative graph, just switch the min and the max, those are the facts. Don't fall asleep, we know this is a bore, but just hold on, there's only one graph more. 
you should keep in mind tangent equals sine over cosine. When the denominator of the fraction is zero, the fraction is undefined. The period of this function be under pi. There are four points on the graph that you need to apply. The domain is all real numbers except odd multiples of pi over two. At these spots of discontinuity, an asymptote will do. The tangent function graph looks like a bunch of cubic ones. The worms have found new friends so they can have so much more funs. Functions are math and functions are fun, but functions aren't for everyone. You probably don't even care, but just remember math is everywhere. So learn them well, for you'll always use math. Learn them well or face Mr. No's wrath. Just remember one thing about each equation. To learn them well, you don't have to be Asian. Oh, 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 oh,